Catalyst and Samoco have integrated the Catalyst Dispatch and Interoperability Solution with the Samoco DMR trunk radio system. In DMR, trunking is called Tier 3, and the wireline interface is a standard called the Application Interface Specification, or AIS. We've used AIS to connect our two systems together. The Catalyst system enhances the Samoco radio system by providing a critical communications grade voice console and also interoperability between DMR and other radio systems such as Project 25, SmartNet, LTR, EDAX, MDC 1200, and others. Today I want to demonstrate a small system using the Catalyst Propulsion Console in the Samoco XD DMR radio system. Hello, Smoko is pleased to partner with Catalyst to integrate and market Smoko's DMR Tier 3 radio systems with Catalyst Dispatch and Interoperability Solutions. We hope that you find this demonstration helpful. This is the propulsion console. Each of these rectangles controls a different DMR talk group. The rectangles on the right control disparate radios like MDC 1200. We'll begin by taking a Samoco 660 portable radio which is tuned to DMR Talk Group 1 and keying that radio up. When I do so, you'll see the unique unit ID for that radio and when I turn the audio up on the speakers, you'll hear the audio coming through my console speakers. The dispatcher can select that module, either using the touch screen or the mouse, and can transmit back to all of the subscribers who are listening to that particular channel. Next, I'll take a different Samoco radio. This is a 650 portable and it's tuned to DMR Talk Group 3. When I key this portable radio, you'll see the unit ID for that radio and also the alias that we have assigned within the Catalyst system that goes with that particular radio. In this case, I'm going to use the Instant Transmit button on the Catalyst console to talk back to those group of radios. The Catalyst console is able to simultaneously monitor the audio for multiple DMR talk groups and other radio systems. I'm going to hand this talk group 3 radio to Christopher and ask him to do a few transmissions on the DMR talk group 3 module. Go ahead. And while he's doing that, I'll also key up on the talk group one. And so you'll see the audio coming in and out as we key up on those different ones. And I'll show you that I can adjust this audio independently for each of these modules. The Catalyst console provides the ability to really customize what the dispatcher sees and what the dispatcher hears. The Catalyst system logs all of the transmissions that we're seeing here. Electronically, they're stored for later review, and they're also presented here real-time in this call history window. The call history window also allows me to go back and replay a recent call. And so I'll select this one here and hit the replay, and the audio then plays back so that I can hear that call again. Catalyst system supports the emergency function. So let's again look at group one here. I've got the radio that's tuned to group one and I'll press the emergency button. And when I press that emergency button, you'll see that it sends this message and begins sending audio to the Catalyst console indicating that it's got an emergency. I see that unit ID here. 
I also see in my call history window the unit ID and it's highlighted in red that it's an emergency call with that emergency indication and it keeps opening up the microphone so the dispatcher can automatically hear that. I can kill that audible alarm here from my console so the dispatcher doesn't need to hear it. Many Catalyst customers need to monitor radio transmissions from disparate radio systems, different frequency bands, different protocols. The Catalyst console allows the dispatcher to monitor and talk back on all of those different radio systems uh, and even to tie them together. Furthermore, Catalyst Interoperability Solution can tie those radio systems together in this same way without having a console there. Let me do a few demonstrations. I'll start with the Simul Select feature of the Catalyst console. So I'm going to enable the Catalyst console Simul Select or Multi Select feature. I'm going to choose the DMR Group 3 and I'm going to choose the NXDN uh, channel for that. Here's the NXDN radio, here's the Samoco radio tuned to group three. I'm going to use the foot switch to transmit this time since my hands are both full, but when I transmit you'll see that both of them transmit at the same time. I hear the audio on both of these portable radios at the same time. I'll turn that feature off and next I'll show patching between disparate radios systems using the Catalyst console and again we could do this without the console using IntelliLink. So I'm going to choose patch 1 here and I'm going to put the Samoco Talk Group 1 in that patch along with the MDC channel and I'm going to enable that patch in the Catalyst system. Let's turn the audio down so that you only hear it through this radio, which is the Group 1 DMR group. When I key up on the MDC radio, you see it comes in on MDC, goes out on DMR, and you hear the audio on this DMR radio. Same thing happens in the other direction. When I key up on DMR, it comes in here, it goes out on MDC, and I hear the audio through the subscriber radio. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this demonstration and I would invite you to visit the Catalyst website or give us a call. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Smoko and Catalyst Solutions. Please contact us or our representatives if we can assist you.